What's up, everybody? This is Philly Ryan of Madden 101, your place for quick tips to educate you on football and Madden. And as you know, we've been coming to you, or I've been coming to you every week with a Madden Ultimate Team coin up challenge. All right. Again, this is a great um, feature that EA added to the game. I like to take advantage of this. Not also, not just about talking about the actual coin up challenge, but giving you some insight on the football game and who you should actually take a look at. Um, to start in your fantasy league or you know who you should use to actually collect the card if you don't have either Drew Brees or Peyton Manning in this week's uh, actual fantasy matchup and also basically the coin up challenge so let's go ahead and get into and let's get into this all right um, basically everybody knows Peyton Manning is one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League all right I am not a hundred percent and a hundred percent Peyton Manning fan. However, I have to respect what this man does. He's a great quarterback uh, and, and, and has been consistent throughout his career. Uh, and that's all that you can actually expect or, or hope for from your actual uh, quarterback. On the other hand, we have Drew Brees. Now Drew Brees also has a Super Bowl title and also is a great quarterback. And, and his greatness has come after adversity. You know, after him tearing his shoulder up to the point where they thought he would never play football again, him getting shipped off to New Orleans because, you know, San Diego say, nah, we're not going to go if you, we're going to go with the young Phillip Rivers and see how that goes. Um, and you know, they basically just shuffled him out of town. And ever since then, he's been an extremely high performer. Now, let's go ahead and get into this week's actual matchup. All right. If you know anything about the past, it seems like the New Orleans Saints has have a serious problem playing when they're outdoors. All right, that they actually gave the birth of Seattle becoming a tough team by being like a number one seed, I believe, a couple years back, going up to Seattle and losing. No, I'm sorry, they weren't the number one seed. They were the number three seed. They had to. They were number four seed, number five seed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They had to go up to Seattle and play even though Seattle had a losing record and they lost with like an 11 and 5 record they lost to the first team in the NFL that made the playoffs with a losing record that was unbelievable but that's what happened and that's the type of thing that I stay away from when when I'm picking these things like you know based on past evidence that the Saints have trouble when they're outside and they have trouble when they're away from their dome all right so that's what that's one reason well, I don't want to pick Drew Brees this week. Drew Brees has actually had back-to-back -back four touchdown games. All right, so that bodes well for him. But at the same time, last week, the Saints defense made Josh Freeman look like he was actually Peyton Manning. And that's ridiculous because now this week, they actually face Peyton Manning. All right, so Peyton Manning um, basically is up against the Saints defense, which has allowed the most fantasy points per game this year to opposing quarterbacks if you give peyton manning an opportunity to be extremely successful he's going to be extremely successful so that's the that's the main determining factor when i look at this game and what card should i pick you know do i pick do i collect my peyton manning card that you get from this week's coin up challenge in hopes to get the Drew Brees card and, and then collect the Drew Brees on Monday? Or do I keep the Peyton Manning card and just wait until Monday and collect the Peyton Manning card? I'm going with the Peyton Manning card. Both of these quarterbacks will at least give you, based on previous games, at least three touchdowns. And I can see Manning getting at least three touchdowns. Now, Brees has had four touchdowns in back-to-back -back games. However, because the Saints defense has been giving up so many points, that's going to make me go towards Peyton Manning because if, if Josh Freeman can have a great game, I can see Peyton Manning having close to like five touchdowns against a porous defense. You know, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. All right. You know, and, and after that, so I'm going to collect my Peyton Manning card uh, real quick before the video uh, actually ends. I want to give a quick shout out to, uh, you know, I've been running a man ultimate team. We're calling it a smash and grab uh, biweekly tournament. All right, with my good friend Grand Champion. This past week on Thursday, we finished up in a guy by the name of New Skills from, uh, I believe he's from Madden School, actually won the tournament. 
So I want to say congratulations to him. I want to make sure that he gets some notoriety. This is a community thing. So it's not all about me. It's about putting a spotlight on some great talent in our community. So new skills, great job. We'll have another tournament in two weeks. Um, and everybody just have a great Sunday. Enjoy this card. Here's a quick look at it. And as you know, I can't end this video without a Yaus, damn it.